Oh hey, see you there. So I'm making a video. Guess what it's about? My pet peeves. Yeah, we all have those pet peeves where it's just like you want to strangle someone until they turn blue in the face and just stop breathing. Numero uno. Noisy ears. Nom 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 nom. Yeah, that's so attractive. People who talk with their mouth full. Like they have so much food in their mouth where it's spilling out. Example. Oh wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, really? Yeah, I uh -huh. It's awesome. Yeah. And I think those uh factors are still. Numero dos. The girls that after you take a picture, have to look at it. Take a picture, right? Ah. Oh, let me see, let me see, I can make sure I look okay. And you think it's like, oh yeah, it's really cute, I can't wait to put this on Facebook. Then they're like, it would look bad, it would look ugly, it would delete it. Dude, it's a freaking picture, live with it. Number three, people who talk to you during the movie, and you're clearly there to watch a movie. It's not like you're on a dinner date where you have to talk. No, I came here to watch a movie. I didn't pay 12 bucks just to sit here and listen to you scream and spit into my ear. It's always those, those, those people. Hey, hey, what's going on? What, what is she doing? Why is she going in there? Oh my god, she's gonna die. She's gonna, she's gonna die. Oh my god, wait, why'd she do that? Wait, what happened? What'd she say? Well, you would be able to hear it and you'd be seeing what's going on if you would watch the movie and not be talking to me. Number four, those guys that think it's hilarious to say that's what she said after everything you say. Oh, oh no, I'll hang on to that. That's what she said. Or, no, oh, wow, that's huge. That's what she said. Oh, you're hilarious. Yeah, I haven't heard that a million times. <laughs> Number five, people who point at their wrist asking for the time. Oh, do you have the time? I don't know what time it is. Do you know, do you know? It's like, yes, we know where a watch is supposed to be. Why don't you get one so then you would know what time it is? Number six, can I ask you a question? Well, I wish I had a choice. Number seven, boys or men, whatever you list them, who leave the seat up. I'm a girl. I like to sit on seats. How do you forget to put a seat down? You're in front of the toilet. You're peeing. And you just forget to put the seat down when you're staring right at it. What's that? Are you purposely doing that so I fall into the toilet? Which I have done before. Thank you, Dad. Number eight. When people say, oh, it's the last place you look. Yeah, it is the last place you look because you don't know it's there. I knew where it was. Why would I still be looking for it? Ponder that. Number nine. Life is short. No, life is not short. Life is very long. I guess turtles and tortoises, yeah, their life just goes in the blink of an eye. Number 10, you're standing at the bus stop, you're just kind of chilling, and there's that one kid comes up to you with his backpack all like, hey, did the bus come yet? Yeah, it did come. I'm just standing here to look cool. And you get picked up from strangers and then get raped. That's why I'm standing here. Because the bus came. No, it did not come yet. That's what she said. Number 11, you're walking with your friend or you're in the car with your friend and you're just kind of talking, totally, you know, not aware it's going to happen, and BAM! They punch you right in the frickin' arm, because they see the frickin' punch buggy car. And they're like, punch bug! It's like, no, that hurt. Please don't do that. Thank you. Just because you saw a frickin' car, I'm going to have a bruise on my arm tomorrow. Thank you. I appreciate it. Then there's, um, number 12. Lazy people. For example, will look everywhere to find a remote but won't get up to turn the channel by pressing the button on the TV. It works both ways. Oh god, number 13. Oh, what a pet peeve. Probably my number one pet peeve. Copiers. They have to rely on people to think of good ideas and then they take that. That's not cool, bro. Copiers have to be the most annoying, obnoxious people on this planet and need to go fall in a ditch and get lost. You know, yeah, people are always like, oh, that means they like your style and they want, you know, want to be like you. It's like, no, I don't care. I don't want them copying me. I, I came up with it. It's my idea. 
they, they have no right to steal it. Spoiled people. People who seriously get whatever they want because their mommy and daddy want to make them happy. Then they become ready. Then they become, you know, like dependent on their parents for everything. And it's just not right. It is not right. I'm talking to you, parents. Now, I know you're watching this, parents. You, you know, you know you're watching this. Don't spoil your kids. When drive through workers mess up your order, how hard is it to press a button on a screen? Get me a McNugget or whatever. And they give you a freaking hamburger with like a gazillion things on it that you don't even know what it is. When a male, uh, you know, a man, goes up to, um, you know, family or friends or whatever and says, we're pregnant, meaning that his wife is pregnant, do you share the same uterus as her? You're not pregnant, you're a man. You would give birth, yeah, that'd be great. I don't know where the hell it's gonna come out. Baggy pants on guys. Yeah, they're hot. Yeah, that works. That's a-okay in my book. There's like a limit though. There's those guys who have no idea what a belt is or how it works. Their pants are below their ass or like down by their ankles pretty much. I'd rather not see your ass the first time I meet you. Your friends are talking to you, but then they turn around and they start walking. And they're still talking talking to you, but their back is to you. So they're, they're like looking this way and talking when you're this way. Yeah, I'm over here! Those are some of my pet peeves. Uh, if you guys have more, let me know what yours are. Leave a comment and tell me what your pet peeves are. And, um, if you guys want to, you know, subscribe or like or comment or favorite, that would be cool too. Then if you do, you'll have some major swag going on. And if you don't, well, you'll just end up on my pet peeve list. Alright, well, hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace out.